Welcome back to the Corporate Finance Academy and today we're going to go through what is corporate finance. We will define corporate finance and go through some of the things that finance at a company actually does. Uh, we'll go through what some of the other finance careers are at a high level. We'll talk through benefits of a career in corporate finance and we'll also review some of the things, some examples of things a finance manager or finance analyst within uh, corporate finance might work on. Okay, so what is corporate finance? So the finest, it's the finest division within a company, or it could be even a, a government or a nonprofit or a church. You're going to have a finance division. Um, technically, those jobs are, are effectively corporate finance jobs. Overseer of the finance function is the CFO or chief financial officer. And these are big jobs at big companies. You know, when you look at big publicly traded companies, often the CFO is kind of considered the second in command of the, of the company. Now, so what, what does the corporate finance function do? So they make sure track transactions are recorded, accurate and compliant with whatever uh, standards apply to the country or the type of business that you run. They take those transactions and they create uh, financial results and they report those to the operating team, sometimes to investors, owners, um, and they analyze those results to make sure that the health of the company is strong. Now, they, their job really isn't only to report and analyze those results and monitor them, but they want to play a role in optimizing the performance of the company. So how can they help to increase revenue? How can they reduce costs? How can they uh, optimize the, the profitability, overall profitability of the company? And they should be doing analysis and working with the operating teams, the sales team, whoever, to, to try to increase the performance. The finance division owns kind of oversight over what projects uh, are invested in, uh, what products are developed, assets are purchased. Uh, talk about this as capital expenditure. They also are going to set a forecast and a, or a budget for how the company will operate. And this is often done in a very short term, but then also longer term, three-year forecast, five-year, ten-year. So these are the targets that have to be set intelligently so that they can drive, again, the sales team, the operating teams to achieve those and to to ultimately result in the success of the company. They need to make sure they have adequate cash. You need to know the inflows, the outflows of cash. Um, often they also manage the, the funding of the business, how they get capital, uh, whether it's commercial paper, loans, equity, you name it. They model and they may model and underwrite deals. So acquiring a company, acquiring a new customer um, or selling off a portion of the business and they need to manage the risk of the company. Okay, so that's corporate finance, but you'll hear about a ton of other finance jobs, and sometimes I think they get commingled. Some people think FP&A is corporate finance, or they think corporate finance is just FP&A and treasury or something along those lines. They may also think that investment banking or financial services, they may think of those as corporate finance. And, and sometimes a, a big investment bank or a commercial a financial services firm, they will still have a corporate finance entity that has a CFO and they have accountants and analysts and you name it. But you know the way we think about it here, and if you click the link, you can see uh, a video where we break down each of these and what those these careers do uh, from an entry level perspective and what the career prospects look like. But these are really the different areas of finance. You've got investment banking, consulting, sales and trading, commercial banking, private equity, uh, portfolio management, portfolio analysts, research analysts, um, and then you've got financial planning and services. So there's a broad spectrum and corporate finance is just one piece of that spectrum. But this helps lay out that landscape. And again, if you click on the link, uh, it's in the description as well. Um, you can learn a little bit more about each of these careers. 
Now, corporate finance in particular is a really good area to have a career. Um, there's tremendous, tremendous breadth. So you can have different roles. You could be an FP&A, you could work at a shop or a site. You could uh, do commercial finance, corporate development where you're working on deals. Uh, just tremendous breadth of the roles. Uh, there's different industries. You know, there's there you could work at banks. You could work at manufacturing companies, um, internet companies, software companies, uh, and then there's all different sizes. From you know, you might be a CFO of a small business, and you might be the only finance employee at that business, or maybe you're the CFO of Amazon, and you have a, a thousand or more finance. Uh, person finance team underneath you. There's not typically an up or out culture in corporate finance, maybe within a certain area. You know, some companies have programs which are for accelerating uh, into leadership roles and those might be up or out, but you can have a long career uh, and well compensated career in corporate finance as either a leader of teams, people leader, or as an individual uh, where you're just working on your area um, and you can do it at all different levels. There's there's room for many different people in corporate finance. Uh, whereas, you know, investment banking, consulting, some of these, you are you kind of either progress or you have to leave and go get a different job. There are a lot of placement options out of undergrad um, and you can, again, have a full career the number of jobs, you know, you take companies like Amazon and uh, Toyota and some of these big Exxon Mobil, they have a large, large foreign finance organizations um, that you can have a really interesting career within one company moving to different functions or different areas of the business. Location and work-life balance flexibility. So some of the jobs like investment banking or portfolio management, the research jobs are maybe focused in New York City or you know, London or other big cities like that. Um, but corporate finance is everywhere. Um, you can, from small towns to big cities all around the world. Um, and, and there's also significantly more work-life balance in many of those areas. Now, if you want to be a CFO, you're definitely going to put in a lot of hours, especially if you're thinking about this, being a CFO of a public company but you're, you're, you're able to create a, a career that has balance. You, may, you can make you know, over $100,000 a year and work very reasonable hours in corporate finance. There's a lot of variety. You can work at Apple, Amazon, Toyota, or a small company down the road. Uh, you, you certainly can make a lot. This is an outrageous example, but the Oracle CFO in 2019 made somewhere around $108 million. Now, large, largely that was in a form of equity grants and that Oracle CFO moved into the CEO position, but uh, I, there's, you'll still find a number of CFOs making over $20 million a year, but you also may come into a company work making $35,000, $40,000 a year at a small company if you didn't go to a big school and um, you know, just tons of variation. The job categories, right? You could work in accounting, treasury, financial planning and analysis, supply chain, you can work with corporate development, um, risk, commercial finance, uh, tons of variety. The work hours, again, you kind of, you can work and select jobs that you think fit your work-life balance. Now, what might you do if you actually take one of these jobs? So, we talked about a few of these things, but you might be working in your job to decide how the company best uses cash, what assets or companies or anything else uh, the company invests in, what machines they buy for a shop, what equipment. You might be working a business case uh, or a model to decide whether or not to launch a new product. You could be just reviewing financial results to try to understand what's driving the company's growth. You might model what a new deal or an agreement, a big contract with the customer is worth. You might be in the treasury area and manage foreign exchange risk through, through different hedging programs. Um, or you could be raising capital or assuring the right bank loans and financial positions. 
you could work directly with investors through the investor relations to help explain the results of the company. You might be working to optimize working capital. So reducing inventory, getting better term payment terms with your suppliers. Uh, and you might work on due diligence for the acquisition of, the company, of a company, something more like you would do in private equity or investment banking. And these are just a few examples, uh, really, again, to point out the, the breadth of potential options in corporate finance. And we'll, we'll close with this. And the link we showed earlier, we go through this. But um, a quick summary of what corporate finance looks like from a career standpoint you know, I won't read this to you, but take a look and you can use this as a resource to understand where you might come in, top companies to work at, and, and what a uh, career looks like. Look, it can be difficult to navigate, especially right out of undergrad or early in your career, uh, the corporate finance or finance in general. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of knowledge on what corporate finance looks like and what a career path could be. Um, but leave questions and comments because we can help try to steer you along. It's part of the reason we've created this, this corporate finance Academy is to help people navigate those careers. So please subscribe, like, or even dislike the video and give us any questions, comments, or feedback below.